Hello YouTube, it's Caboose says WTF here, and here today I'll be creating or showing a very simple-ish tutorial on how to install the Silent Virtues Mob Menu for Red Dead Redemption uh, for the Nintendo Switch. Now, it being called Silent Virtues, the name of this menu may change down the line. Um, I've brainstormed or brainstormed menu ideas, uh, and so by the time this you see this video, the menu name may have already changed, it may not have. But just letting you know, it's something that could happen in the future. I don't know right now. Um, so basically, this tutorial video is going to be how to install this mod menu for the emulators for Ryu, Jinx, and Yuzu. Uh, I first do want to state that the menu is m more compatible with Yuzu than it is Ryu, Jinx. Um, a lot of things in Ryu, Jinx could end up crashing uh, just due to... Um, I don't know what, but... Uh, just use you seems to be more compatible however you can try it on Ryu Jinx if you want I will be showing how to install the mob menu script files as well as uh, custom script files if you have those and I'll be showing you how to install the extra included files I have with the menu um, I'll be showing you how to do all this through with magic RDR I couldn't get it to work with Liberty 4x um, no matter what I did it just kept black screening me so this tutorial will not cover the tool Liberty 4X, um, at least not until that tool gets more updates in the future. I don't know what's going on with it. could be user error on my end, but I just can't get that program to do anything as far as custom scripts and stuff go, and it just black screens on me. And I'll be showing you how to use the uh, created RPFs we're going to be making today. I'm going to show you how to install those for Ryu, for Ryu Jinx and Yuzu. And later on in the video, I'm going to show you how to... Uh, create custom video files for the um, video player slash movie player I have in Silent Virtues Mob Menu. So <clears throat> the very very first thing you want to do is whichever I'm going to show you how to do it in both but you need to dump your ROM FS. You can do that through the emulators or you can do that through your switch however you want to do it, it's on you. So let me give you a basic rundown and use you first. So once you have Yuzu open go to your game right click it click dump ROM FS and click dump ROM FS um, and then you let that finish and then I'm gonna just do this really quick so usually when it gets done dumping it'll usually dump to this folder called dump with the title ID and then ROM FS so I'm gonna just minimize this just um, you're gonna need some of these RPS files here in just a second now if you're using Ryu Jinx let me go ahead and get that opened up. So in Ryu Jinx, same thing. Go to the game, right click, but this time you go to extract data and you'll extract ROM FS and then you can extract it to wherever you want. Okay. Once that's done, we're gonna go to our desktop and create a folder called mods, whatever you'd like to name it. So I'm just going to name it Magic because I'm using the Magic RDR for this tutorial. We're going to go inside that folder, right click, and create a new folder. And we're just going to name it ROMFS. Now we're going to go ahead and... Oh, whoops. I accidentally named that wrong. ROMFS, not ROMSFS. Go ahead and double click into the ROMFS folder and put this to the side. Now you need to go to your game dump or your ROMFS dump, wherever it may be. If you only want to install the mod menu and or custom scripts, the only RPF you'll need today is content.rpf. Now again, this video is for emulators only. It does not cover how to get a mod menu to work on real hardware. Um, right now, I can't release the method to make this work on real hardware. The uh, script loader and all that fun stuff is created by Slux. For over a month, I've tried to get him to reply back to me. I've been messaging him, uh, you know, prepping up, trying to get this menu released to you guys. Um, but he's not responding to me. And with that, I can't release his script loader to make it where you can use mod menus on real hardware. Now, on real hardware, you just crash. And it's due to, like, memory issues. Um, I can only get the menu to launch at the very, very intro of the game on normal story mode uh, on real hardware. And then even with clicking mod options, you just crash due to running out of memory. Um, so 
yeah, I'm just waiting on Slux. That all depends on him. His script loader only works on 1.0.1 of the game, and it does not currently work for Undead Nightmare. I'm hoping eventually he'll get back with me and add more support for the later updates and add support for Undead Nightmare, but only time will tell. Uh, so if he gives me the okay to release that, or if he releases it, I will make a separate video on how to install the menus and make them work on real hardware. But till then, uh, this is just for emulators. So again, if you're just installing the mod menu and um, custom scripts and whatnot, you just need content.rpf. If you're using my extra files that come with the menu, you're going to be needing the mapres.rpf. You're going to be needing navres.rpf. And you're going to be needing tuneswitch.rpf. All right, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close the ROM dump folder. You no longer need that right now. Now you want to go to wherever you have Magic installed. And if you're on a older version of Magic, you're going to see a bunch of files here. One of those files is going to be um, imported file names.txt. You're going to need to add some entries in that text file. If you're on the latest update, you should have a settings folder here. You want to go to that settings folder and here you'll have imported file names.txt. Just go ahead and open it before magic is open. Scroll to the very bottom. And you're going to want to add these two lines here if you just want to use the mob menus. If you want to use custom scripts, you'll add these entries here. So in total, you'll be using that right there. So go ahead and pause this video so you can write those down into your imported file names.txt file. All right, that was more than enough time for you to pause the video and get those noted down into your imported file names.txt. Next, you want to go ahead and open up Magic. And we're going to open up content.rpf in Magic. If you just want the normal uh, single player story mod menu, you're going to go on and go to content, release 64. Let me just go by right here. Scripting, design refined, UI. Here you'll see FUI event monitor WSC. You want to click it, right click, click extract file. Extract it to wherever you want. I'm going to extract it to my desktop. Just make sure you name it FUI event monitor underscore O dot WSC and save it. Go to wherever you saved that file. Do make sure it is named correctly and just drag and drop it back into this directory folder here right below FUI event monitor and click import. All right. Now if you now for the mob menu part, you need to open up this release folder here. Maybe a different mob menu name by the time this comes out, but the naming scheme will be similar called RDR mob menu switch. So go ahead and open that folder, go to the mob menu folder, go to normal slash hardcore RDR story. And here you'll see an FUI event monitor script. This is the mob menu. Just drag and drop it over here and click replace. All right. Now if you want to install the undead story mob menu, go to content. Release 64, DLC, Zombie Pack, System, Designer Defined, UI. Here you'll see an FUI event monitor underscore Z.SEO. Sorry, .SEO. Completely ignore this. We will not be doing anything with that file. Instead, you need to turn your attention to FUI event monitor underscore Z dot WSC. Just right click it and click Extract File. Extract it to where you want. I'm going to put it on my desktop. And make sure you name it FUI Event Monitor underscore Z underscore O and just save it. Once you find your file you just extracted, again, make sure it is named correctly and just drag and drop it right back below this FUI Event Monitor and just click Import. Now we'll go back to the Mob Menu folder and we're going to go to Undead Story and you'll have a FUI Event Monitor in here with underscore Z. This is the mod menu. Just drag and drop it here underneath these other FUI event monitors and make sure it says replace. All right, if you were just installing the uh, this mod menu and that's all you wanted, go ahead and go click file, save current or as new. If you want to install custom scripts that you may have created or have gotten, you wanna to go to content, release 64 and scripting. So if you're gonna use custom scripts, uh, at least with my mob menu, make sure the naming scheme is one through 10. Uh, other mob menus may have different naming schemes and you'll have to do that 
you know, you have to name scripts based on however they load scripts. Uh, but mine just goes one through 10. So you're gonna go ahead and grab these two scripts and just drag into this little gray area here and click import. All right, these two scripts are, one is the Jedi Josh mod menu that was ported to Switch by Foxy. Um, has very limited function functionability. Functionability, sorry, I can't say that right, I'm tired. Um, it has a lot of issues, a lot of things don't work right, a lot of things can be broken, um, but it is a menu and it does somewhat work. So if you wanna use that, you have the ability. Um, the other menu is gonna be the Re Reality Redemption script <clears throat> mod menu. Uh, which is using the version 3 mod menu base that Foxy and Soxtress created. <clears throat> uh, that whole menu is basically my Demonic Revelations version 2.4 uh, with some added functions that Foxy was working on back when we were porting Demonic Revelations mod menu to version 3 base. However, I ended up never using the version 3 menu base because I had a lot of crashing issues with it. Um, a lot of that's due to me, like, optimization issues, code issues, wrong native documentation. And because of that, I didn't use the menu because I was got so frustrated with all the random crashes that I couldn't pinpoint down. Uh, the other issue is the modern revelations, that mod menu had a lot of functions, a lot of code and did a lot of things. Um, version three can't fit it all. At least it couldn't in its current state. Uh, the <clears throat> mod menu base for version three, it's just the base code itself is a lot. Um, doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it's pretty huge chunk of code. It's pretty big. And due to compiler issues, I just couldn't fit all of my functions into that base. So I would end up having to cut 50% of the menu just to use version three. So I just never swapped to it. However, um, Foxy had given Lenny, AKA Badass Baboon, the creator of Reality Redemption, um, I guess he gave him that old source. I'm not 100% in the know there. I just know from launching the menu exactly what it is. Um, and no, I'm not mad or anything like that. Uh, I'm actually glad because now there's a use for version three. It's actually in a project and people can actually experience version three. Um, and the version three source codes up online. Like if you want to code in that base, you can. Um, so it actually gives people a taste of what version three was, what it is, how it acts. Uh, what issues it has, such as like the satchel not being able to be opened in single player at all. Probably an easy fix, but I never looked into it. The version 3 base was by Foxy and Soxtress, so I kind of got lost in that menu base, so I mostly left that to them, and I didn't code in it very often. But, um, at least now someone has a use for it. It's in a project that has some use, so I'm actually really grateful for that, and it's really cool to see it being put to good use. Um, so yeah, with that said, that's the two scripts here I'll be using today. And no, I'm not adding a download for these scripts. If you want these scripts, please be sure to go check out Project um, blah, Reality Redemption Project in the uh, description below. It'll link. It'll take you straight to it, um, to that whole project, and it'll also have the scripts if you just want to grab the scripts from it. Uh, but me, myself, and I, I will not have a singular release of those scripts separated. It's not my place. Um, I had nothing to do with those scripts but anyways i'm rambling now so custom scripts are now in the uh, rpf we're just going to click file save and current or as new whichever one you want to do and just click yes all right now if that's all you wanted to do you can just go install it how you normally would if you don't know how stick around in the video and i'll show you how to get it in ryujinx and then use it otherwise if you know how go play have fun so now if you want to use my extra files which is no clip teleport fix, rival animal fix, and special weather effects. Um, I'll be showing you which RPFs those are for and how to use them. Or they're really kind of self-explanatory. No clip and teleport effects basically makes it where you can go underneath the map and stuff without uh, any weird issues happening uh, when you're teleporting or no clipping. Uh, rideable animal fix. It basically makes it where animals don't kick you off of them. It makes them where. Well, no, I'm sorry. It makes it where they're not idle and standing still at all times when you get on them. The mob menu makes it where they don't kick you off of you. Don't get kicked off of you, or you don't get kicked off of it. Uh, the special weather effects is fake floods and snow, uh, and I'll discuss that when I get to that RPF. So the next RPF we want to open is map res the RPF, which that's actually the weather one. So you want to go into the map res folder, 
and then you want to go to special weather effects and you'll have three things to choose from you have fake flood snow or snow plus fake flood combined so fake flood basically is when it's raining or storming in the game the world looks like it's in a f starting to flood it's not really a flood like you think that's why i call it fake flood but it just makes the world look like it's starting to flood snow uh, whenever you use the snowy weather mod or anything like that um, it basically covers the whole world in a blanket of snow and then snow plus fake flood is both mods combined into one so for this i'm going to use both of them combined into one it'll be swat.wtd just drag and drop it in this over here make sure it says replace if so just click that then you want to go to file save current or as new The next file we're going to be modifying today is going to be the navres.rpf. Just go ahead and open that in Magic. And make sure you click the navres folder in the tool. Then you want to go to Territory. Go back to the extra files and go to No Clip Teleport Fix. Go to Navres. And then go to Territory. Yeah. And you'll have a min height grid.xml. Just drag and drop this into this side here. And just make sure it says Replace. Then you want to go to Territory Zombie Pack. Basically the same thing. Just drag and drop the min height grid from here, over here, and make sure it says replace. After that, just click File and Save, however you want to save it. Then the last thing we're going to be modifying is ToonSwitch.rpf. Just click Yes. Go to the Tune folder. Then go down here to Template. Go back to the extra files here and go to Rideable Animal Fix. Go to this tune folder, go to this template folder, and just grab all these XML files, drag and drop them here, and just replace every single one as it prompts you. Once you're done, click File, Save, Current, or As New. Alrighty, after that you can close Magic. We're pretty much done modifying the RPFs. All right now um, you can go to Yuzu or Ryu Jinx, whichever one you want to do. I'm gonna go to Yuzu first and show you how to install this. So once Yuzu is open, right click your game, click Open Mod Data Location, take this magic folder and copy or move it just straight into here. After that, you can close this folder. I would recommend rebooting Yuzu. Go ahead and right click the game. Go down to properties and make sure that the folder that you had just put in there is ticked as well as an update if you have one installed after that click ok then after that you can just go ahead and start the game but now i'm going to show you how to do it for ryu jinx and it's basically the exact same thing oh, whoops wrong wrong folder i mean wrong thing All right, go down and find Red Redemption, right click it, click Open Mods Directory. Basically the same thing, just copy that folder you created earlier or move it straight into this folder here. And after that, you can just start your game. So first I'm gonna show you it on Yuzu. So I'm going to show you the mob menu in normal first. I'm not really going to show it in hardcore because the exact same as normal, just a harder game. It's basically the exact same. But I will show you in Undead after this. And my frames are going to drop because my computer's ass. So, And I have like no RAM because two of my RAM 6 died recently. Alright, when you get in game, you should see Welcome to Raiders and the button combination to open. Now, this mob menu was made with switch, control, switch controls in mind, so if your layout is not switch control based, you might have a hard time. So, I would heavily recommend having your control scheme be an actual switch control scheme, or you'll be opening and clicking options you don't mean to do. So, first thing I'm going to do is just do. Uh, no clip and free camera. These two options I have backwards by accident. 
free cameras, no clip, no clips, free camera. Um, I'll fix those before this menu is released. Uh, but right now I'm going to do no clip, even though it shows it says free camera. I'm just going to go down. As you can see, I can go below the map. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is weather options. I'm going to make it be snowy. Now I'm going to turn it back to clear. Now we're going to just do rainy. And this may take it a second to kick in. And my frames are probably going to get shot here in a second. Just letting it load and do its thing. You can see the world's starting to get a little murky. here where it loads it. Yeah, it's starting to get a little flood-like. Right, and that's basically fake flood. It, it pretty much just makes it look like the world's starting to flood. Okay. Now I'm just going to go turn the weather to normal because I don't like it raining. Okay, and now we're just going to do. I'm not going to do the ride on animal stuff. You guys have seen that in my uh, original. Real first RPF mod thing. And don't worry, this water does go away. So I guess we're just going to do a script loader and we're just going to load the uh, custom scripts. Alright, and as you can see, this is what the version 3 base is uh, that Rally Redemption is using and again, it's basically just my uh, the demonic Revelations 2.4 version. Back when me and Foxy was trying to get Demonic Revelations in version 3 and it just didn't pan out. But again, it's cool to see that it has some use now. Then it also has some, uh, some different options that Foxy was working on. Uh, okay. Now we're going to go to the script loader again and this time we're going to launch Joshua menu. Menu. Right now, we're just gonna go to Undead, and I'll show you. I'm just gonna open. I'm just gonna go show that the menu opens. I'm not gonna show the uh, me launching the scripts again or nothing like that. And another reason I don't use version three on Switch is because um, version three base it doesn't work on real hardware at all, and uh, I like stuff to work on normal hardware. Uh, I'll eventually return to version three. Um, I'll just have to figure out. I'll have to figure out a lot of optimization tricks and a lot of ways to uh, try to fit everything into that menu. That's it's gonna be hard, um, but it may be something I eventually return to. All right, here's the menu undead, and my controller would disconnect. And then like, oh yeah. I forgot I have those two options backwards. Oh wait, is it fine in this one? Ah, it is fine in this one. I did fix it in this one. Okay. So I gotta fix it for normal Red Dead Redemption. Uh, big shout out to Foxy. He gave me the sent. He sent me the. He did a lot in the Minor Revelations as well as this menu. Uh, just any project we've worked on, he's done a lot of work and. Um, if anyone, if anyone, no one knows him, I'll leave his GitHub and also in the awesome description below, as well as in my release video. Um, he's helped a lot with this project, and it wouldn't be, 
any of the Red Dead Redemption projects I've been a part of or done, um, they would have been nowhere without that guy. So again, thank you, Foxy. Uh, and also a big shout out to uh, Soxtris. Also, these projects wouldn't be where they are without him as well. Uh, and a smaller shout out to uh, Tyler, the original creator of Demonic Revelations, which is a now abandoned wear project, open sourced for Xbox and PS3. Uh, he was one of the original creators, uh, as well as Kane532, uh, for that menu, which is the same base I still use today. Alright, and that's it working for uh, Yuzu, so now let's go to Ryujinx. And again, like I said, Yuzu is more compatible with the menus than Ryujinx. Ryujinx could have a lot more crashes and bugs and stuff that's out of my control. Um, and it's weird because Ryujinx is more... It's closer to real hardware than Yuzu is. Yuzu lets a lot of shit slide when it shouldn't. Uh, as far as like from a non-crash perspective. Whereas in Ryujinx it will. It's just weird because a lot of stuff... I've had a few random crashes with Ryujinx. Where I don't get them on real hardware at all. So I can't really pinpoint what the issue is there. I did fix one crash for Ended for Ryujinx specifically. Um, but yeah, anyways... And all I'm saying is it's strange how these emulators work. How one thing will work in one, it won't work in the other. It's... Alright, need to go find your game. And just start it by double clicking it. Now, the uh, Reality Redemption script will not work on Ryujinx, so I will not be executing that. And again, frames are going to go to ass. I, I, I can't tell you. I've had a, a few comments of people saying, Hello. your frames are terrible on Hello, the emulator. Sir. Well, I don't have the best PC, guys. I, I don't. I have like three and a half gigabytes of RAM that's usable. If that, uh, GTX 1060 that black screens on me all the time because it's dying. And then I have like an i7-2000 series or some shit like that, I don't know. I had this computer for like six years, give or take. Uh, but anyways. Sorry, my battery pack's shot on the back of this controller. Um, not really a whole lot to show other than, you know, that the menu opens and... I can do stuff like the weather options. Oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do rainy. I'm trying to kill my frames. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and sorry, I have my control scheme all fucked up on here. And I guess I'm just gonna watch. Launch Josh's menu, which should have been this button here. Yep. Alright, as you can see. Alright, and that's it working on Ryujinx. Now, again, random options in the mob menus could crash you. Um, that's just a big warning when using Ryujinx. Alright, sorry for the cut there, I had to deal with a cat. Alright, Ryujinx. Where was I on normal? Yeah, now I guess I'm going to go to undead.
Alright. And yeah, that's basically it. And again, may have random crashes and stuff for Riot Jinx. I heavily recommend using Yuzu, but you know, use whichever one works best for you. Alright, and for the last little bit of tutorial of this video, I'll be showing you how to not really a full-on tutorial on how to, but basically show you how to uh, create video files for the uh, custom video loader that's in the Silent Virtues mod menu. Again, menu name may change down the road. Uh, so first, this, if you want to know the original specs for the video files for that the theater accepts, uh, this is Armadillo's, Armadillo, I mean, this is Armadillo's video file. Uh, width, height, 1000 by 720. And you can just go over this information and put it in when binking or making a big file for your uh, video uh, but this is what it originally expects so I'm gonna get near that as much as I can and I'm gonna be using this shitty little video here as a demonstration and you'll be using rad video tools link for that tool will be in the description below um, if you don't want to use rad video tools just use any big video converter that you want to use uh, just make sure it supports BIC2, aka BK2. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open up Rad Video Tools. And I'm going to find the video we're going to bink. And I'm going to click it and click bink it. And here, you can match my settings if you want, or you can change them a bit. Now, I don't know what's the max width or height, or how what's the max length of the video. I know the longest video I've ever done is exactly 4 minutes. I know theater videos are up to 4 minutes and like 20 seconds or something like that. Um, <clears throat> I tried a one hour video back on 360 and stuff and it definitely did not work. It was an instant crash. Uh, so the max video length may be around four minutes, give or take, but if you want to experiment with that, be my guest. Um, I'm using a one minute video for this tutorial because it's very fast at being it. So I'm fine with all these settings. Pause the video if you want to copy mine and then just click bink. All right, and that was relatively fast because this was a very short file and it wasn't a high definition file either, so that's why I used it. Uh, once it's done, you can just click done. Now just be aware, some of these video files can get, off the, get up there in size. Um, when and eventually if real hardware support comes, make the file be at least under four gigabytes. Uh, because this video file was just four megabytes in total, so not too bad. I'm going to open it. Make it, work. it does. So the video loader I have in my menu, it expects videos to be named one through ten. Yeah, I changed the extension to .bk2, and then you want to go to Yuzu. I'm gonna show you how to do it for Ryu Jinx as well. I open my data location. Go to your folder you created earlier, ROMFS, and then you just want to copy your video directly in this uh, directory here. Now, if you go to Ryu Jinx, basically same thing. Find your game, right click, open mods directory, go into it, go into ROMFS, same thing, copy the video file and just paste it here. And again, you can have up to 10 videos. All right, once that's done, you can close all the folders and everything and First thing I want to show you is it is on uh, Yuzu. I'm just going to do this in uh, normal story mode because it gets a bit laggy and undead. And I don't know if that's just because of my hardware or if it's 
due to it half unloading the world in Undead when it's not supposed to. Um, I just know in Undead the whole time it's playing the uh, video it's laggy as hell. Alright, in the uh, mob menu here, we're going to go to movie player. And here you have an option to choose which theater you want to go to, Armadillo or Blackwater. I'm just going to go to Blackwater and we're going to load video 1 because that's what we named it to. Some video stuff working and uh, on Red Dead Redemption and the theaters. Uh, now on Yuzu. Now I'm gonna show you in Ryujinx. Same thing as with Yuzu, I'm just going to show you this in normal, uh, the normal story mode. But this time I'm going to go to the Armadillo Theater. And that's basically it guys. Um, sorry for the elongated tutorial. I just like to try to explain everything into detail best I can. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Hope it was easy enough for you guys to follow along. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the menu. It is open source as well. So be sh go ahead and go do whatever you want to it. Just be sure to get proper credits where due. Uh, and I'll update the menu whenever I have time. So yeah, come and subscribe guys. See you next time.